Good, Good morning, morning. Ms. Joy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Okay. So, last Monday, nag-release yung company natin ng emergency declaration response number one. And ngayon, maraming mga questions na ika-clarify natin. So, let's start with the company shall implement and adhere to the labor principle of no work, no pay policy until further notice. Pwede bang pa-explain ko anong ibig sabihin nito? Um, so, for this no work, no pay policy, ang sinasabi ng government natin dito is that if the employee is unwork or hindi or wala sa company or hindi nakapaso, automatic wala siyang bayad for that day. So, um, based on dahil dito sa pandemic na meron tayo, um, naglabas si government ng gantong policy for also the, em the employers can adhere to this one. O pwede nilang sundin or if they have their own policy in the company, they can do that also. Okay. So, may clarification tayo from an employee. Papaano yung rest days? Kasama ba yung rest days sa policy na no work, no pay? Okay. Like yung Sundays sa policy, natin. Okay. So, based on our company policy, uh, or in our, because we are a monthly base uh, na pinatutupad natin sa ating payroll, um, ang rest day na sinasabi dito, for example, para sa ating on-site employees, which is Sunday, ay bayad. Hindi ito kasama sa no work, no pay. Okay. So, lahat so, ng... Lang... Mm -mm. Yes, ma'am. Sundays, Sundays lang ang paid. So, rest days, one rest day is paid. Yes, ma'am. Na-covered ng quarantine period. Okay. How about, i-clarify na rin natin, how about yung leave credits? Apektado ba ang leave credits ng empleyado? Sa ngayon, sa decision ng ating comp ng management, hindi po natin ginagalaw ang leave credits ng employees. Intact pa rin okay. po lahat. So, our leave credits are intact. Moving on, um, nakalagay dito, with the exception of the skeletal employees of our Versailles employee. Bakit may exception ang Versailles? Um, sa ngayon, lahat ng employees or ang employees natin on the hotel ay tuloy-tuloy ang trabaho. They are um, nakatira sila sa loob ng ating hotel sa isang room doon para continuous din yung um, service nila sa mga clients or mga tenants na naiwan sa loob ng um, properties natin. So, kaya sila exempted so, marami, uh, dito kasi tuloy-tuloy yung trabaho nila. So, we have guests who are able to check in before the lockdown? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, for the actions taken by the company, let us go to number one and number two. The salary for the last cut-off from March 11 to 16 shall have no deduction and shall be released in full on March 30. And then the government contributions and taxes shall be advanced by the company. Medyo clear naman to, pero can we know if this applies to all employees? Yes, number one, it is applied to all employees. Regardless of status, regardless kung newly hired or matagal na sa company natin. All employees, Marireceive po nila ang salary nila sa March 30 ng walang deductions. Itong deductions po natin, ano-ano ito, number one is our SSS PhilHealth Pag-ibig contribution. So, yeah, ang company po muna ang mag advance nito, pero ang pagdating po sa salary natin, um, wala po tayong bawas. Pangalawa po, yung mga loans po natin, hindi rin po ibabawas ng company. So, total deductions po natin ay magiging zero at ang makukuha po nating salary mula 11 hanggang 16 ay yun pong gross natin. Okay. So, SSS loans and in-house loans or company loans, payments are also suspended? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, yung release ng March 30, 
is this a final date na March 30 talaga? As of now, yes. But of course, um, as we all know, ang, uh, our company or the management is uh, very much in um, into our situation right now. Kung tatanungin natin kung ma-advance na to, there is a possibility but as of now, dun tayo muna sa March 30. On time? Okay. Yes. So dito, it says also that upon the return of the normal operation, deductions will start. Can we yes. have an idea kung what what or when will be the return of normal operation? How can As, we say that we're already having a normal operation? Okay. So, if we will be going to um, go with the proclamation or binigay sa atin ng government, tayo ay naka-quarantine until April 12. That's a Sunday. From April 13, back na tayo sa normal operations. But, if and when, because we don't know what really the situation right now, so alam naman natin, pat dami ng padami yung infected na nare-report. So, we still have no idea kung yung April 12 ay final. If and when final ito, from April 13, it is our normal operations. Wag din naman po mag-alala yung mga empleyado na kung April 13, ang susunod na sahod natin ay April 15 or April 30, totally ibabawas lahat to. Hindi po. Based on our current policy or normal operation natin when it comes to dealing with deductions, ang lahat po ng deductions natin ay yung kung saan magaang para sa empleyado. Lahat po ito ay ipapaliwanag at magsasign po tayo ng mga deductions form. Makikita po natin kung, gano, kung paano po magiging flexible ang mga uh, deductions na ito na hindi po kin kinaltas ngayong nasa quarantine period po tayo. Okay. Thank you. For number three, this is in relation to the Dole assistance of 5,000 pesos. I think you will be really, we, the company will be releasing a separate uh, recording for this or separate explanation. Yes, but if I understand correctly, the company has already applied for all the companies to Dole and we are now awaiting approval. Tama? Yes, ma'am, you're correct. Po. Um, our application for the Dole uh, for this camp or for the financial assistance of 5,000 is on our the second level already which is by review of dole already so we're just going to await for their decision uh, on to whom sino sino yung mga employees na na approve so again tama din ikaw attorney na meron po tayong separate video na i-upload din po natin dito sa ating FB page para po sa pagpapaliwanag ano nga ba ang um, DOLE DO209 or COMP na ito. Okay. For the calamity loan, uh, yesterday, the applications have already started and then the loan is supposed to be released tomorrow. The application is via online and via text messages. Can we know kung hanggang kailan pwede mag-apply ang isang empleyado? Kasi bukas na yung release. Yes. Um, kailangan sa ngayon po ang ating decision ay kailangan po nilang isend sa company through HR phone or through online application until 3 p.m. today. Kailangan din po bakit po natin aagahan e eh kung bukas pa po natin is uh, marilisi. Kailangan po nating maintindihan na ang pag upload po natin ay isahan lang sa ating online system. So, para po by 3 p.m. Mag makita na po natin or magkaroon na po tayo ng final list kung sino-sino po yung mapaforward natin or mag-grant ng 5,000 na kalamit ni Lord. Uh, sorry, 3,000 na kalamit ni Lord. Kaya, kaya po tayo may deadline ng 3 p.m. today. Okay. 
what if hindi naka-apply on time yung isang empleyado pero gustong mag avail ng company loan? Okay. This would be as per approval of management but the um ang pwede po mangyari dito once approved by the management is isabay po sa salary on Monday which is March 30. Okay. So itong calamity loan na to, meron ding nagpapaklarify kung lahat ba ng empleyado ay pwedeng mag-avail nito, especially those yung mga uh, probationary period pa lang or nakapag-file na ng resignation, are they still allowed to avail? Yes po. As for management, as long as until April 12, you are considered hired, automatic po you can avail. Regardless of status, regardless kung bago, luma okay. o matagal na sa company. So let's just also clarify, kasama din ba dito sa calamity loan ang tie, ang seat life, at ang asset earth? Yes po. Just now, the management has decided na isasama na po natin sila. Um, lahat na po ng company is allowed or um, is okay to file for the calamity loan. Just again, uh, mag-enter for the Versailles, for the seat life, and for uh, assetors, basta mag-log in lang po tayo dito sa ating FB page and or mag-send po tayo ng text through HR phone. Okay. So, for the loans, meron din dito possible additional loan or cash, cash assistance shall also be available in case of emergency needs and family emergency. So, if ever an employee has an emergency, Paano ang process? Paano maka-avail ng additional loan? Okay. Ito po yung tinatawag nating special family treatment. Uh, meron din po tayong sineset up na fund para dito sa special loan na ito. Ala, uh, ito po ay case-to-case -case basis. Everyone naman po, basta may pangangailangan po kayo, additional na emergency na pangangailangan para sa inyong pamilya, Katulad po na ang kapag ang pamilya ay nangangailangan ng additional money para sa pagkain, sa medical emergencies. So, depende po sa sitwasyon, kailangan nyo pong tumawag o kailangan nyo pong mag-send ng information sa HR phone para po makausap po kayo mismo ng HR at malaman po kung anong situation ang meron kayo. So again, this is for a case-to-case -case basis. Depende po sa pangangailangan ng empleyado kung ano po o kung magagrant po o kung magkano po ang magagrant sa kanya na special loan. Okay. So yung amount ng additional or special loan will depend on the case of the employee. Pwede ding lack or lack of food or milk in case of my baby or medicine ang papasok sa additional loan na ito or special assistance loan na to. Yes ma'am, correct. Okay. So we go to emergency communication fund to be used for prepaid load to continue communication with management and to, for management to be able to reach out to our employees. Ang clarification is paano daw kung hindi ginamit ang low ang 500 pesos para sa load? Paano if ever nagamit nila sa pagkain? Of course, um, hindi naman po natin talaga mababantayan lahat. But kailangan nang po maging malinaw sa lahat na kaya po tayo nagbigay nito. Ito po ay hindi loan. Ito po ay bigay ng company sa lahat ng empleyado para po walang maging problema sa pakikipag-communicate po ng em empleyado sa company o ng po company sa empleyado. Hindi po natin magiging problema ang walang load, ang walang pambili ng load kasi po, pre-provide na po ito ng company para sa atin. If and when may mga emergencies po or if and when the company needs po na i-coordinate o ka kausapin yung empleyado, hindi na po niya pwedeng maging dahilan ang wala siyang load. Kasi nga po, nagbigay na po tayo ng uh, load na ito sa lahat para po hindi po maging problema anytime ang communication. 
Okay, but there will be no penalties whatsoever. Wala. It's just na yung consequence lang na hindi sila kaka-communicate kung sakasakaling wala silang load dahil hindi yes, nila po. ginamit para sa communication. Yes. Okay, so for now, yun lang naman yung uh, response number one ng company but it's only the first response and I understand that there will be a second uh, declaration response from the management again since I also understand that management is continuing its assessment and deciding kung ano pa yung pwedeng i-assist for the comp for the employee. Yes, attorney. Um, we will just like to inform everyone to stay safe and to continue um, check ito pong ating FB page for additional information coming from the company. Kung hindi man po dito, ang HR po ay mag-ibibigay ng information offline which is through cell phones or through our managers. Anytime po na ang, ang isang empleyado ay magkaroon ng any emergency, pwede po kayong mag-send ng message dito sa ating FB page or kumunik po sa si HR through HR phone or through your managers. Marami po tayong linya, marami po tayong ways kung paano po tayo makaka-reach out sa management. Huwag po kayong mag-hesitate na mag-reach out. Just um, give us any information we're in na makakatulong po yung company sa inyo. Including any clarifications or any questions, you can also send to the management. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.